Last year, 2024, Elon Musk made an announcement to create a historic investment through his company XAI. And the investment will lead to the world's largest supercomputer called Colossus. Colossus is the core infrastructure behind Guac, which is the artificial intelligence system that Mr. Musk is developing or has developed. I've toured Colossus, and frankly, the capabilities are absolutely remarkable. He places a strong emphasis on sourcing American-made products with XAI whenever feasible, demonstrating a commitment to domestic innovation. The issue is that supercomputers like Colossus depend on a variety of advanced components that right now are not produced in the United States. And I think we can all agree that we want the United States to be the absolute leader when it comes to AI. The other issue is the reliance presents obvious and serious strategic vulnerabilities because a disruption in the supply chain could hinder U.S. capabilities. So I understand that the entire industry is working on building domestic capacity, and we've seen massive investments from companies like NVIDIA and Taiwan Semiconductors. But I think we all also realize that transition is going to be several years or it's going to take several years. So could you talk about how USTR is balancing the near-term need for components with the long-term goal of onshoring these critical supply chains? Certainly. So when the president took his action on reciprocal trade, there were some items that were not covered by the new tariff because further investigation was needed. This includes pharmaceuticals, but it also includes semiconductors. And so many semiconductors are not covered by the reciprocal tariff because the Commerce Department is looking into doing a further investigation to see where tariffs may or may not be appropriate on semiconductor chips or the downstream components.